Welcome to Land of House. Mowing season has arrived. As you can see, the grass is getting up to about two foot. The deer have been eating my uh, red maple here. It's kind of sad. But uh, I'm gonna mow today and then may get to the weed eating, I'm not sure. And then sometime in the next couple of days, I would like to change the oil in the Raptor. So apparently, uh, the first five hours you're supposed to change the oil. I've probably put seven or eight hours on this thing. Um, so it's time. And this hill, I imagine, is more difficult than a lot of hills that people use this mower for. Um, camera's going to flatten it out, but it is pretty steep. But, uh, okay. Let me mow real quick. It's like 58 degrees out here. A little bit cool, but not too bad. Mowing is complete. Got it back here in my uh, shelter logic shed. Uh, have to weed eat along the uh, ditch over there, and then I tried mowing this last year with the mower, but it's just so uneven that it doesn't really do very well. So I usually weed eat that. Um, anyway, it's a big, a big hassle. But uh, I think I'm going to look at the manual for this machine and try to get a grease gun if I need it and get the oil um, so I can do the maintenance on this thing and then after that sometime in the near future I need to start doing the maintenance on the four-wheeler as well so I uh, have to take some ram pump orders I may go ahead and uh, go to town and get what is needed for the mower even though it's going to rain tomorrow I thought I would uh, sprinkle the garden some with some creek water this hill is a pain on that mower if there was more grass, it might be doable, uh, but this little section right in here is just uh, is so bouncy. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll fix it. But uh, I thought I would go ahead and water the garden, and then uh, we'll go to town with ram pump stuff. So I was realizing the other day that um, for a couple of years I had this big plan that I could run a ram pump to some tanks and uh, to the tanks could run a garden hose down to the garden and I could water my garden without having to use the well. And uh, anyway, I was just realizing the other day that um, that plan has finally come true. Uh, and it feels so good not to have to run the well water to water this. Oh, I've got a knot. Um, anyway, it's just nice to be able to have one of my long-term goals accomplished. Yeah. Uh, 
I was kind of expecting to have to go to multiple stores to find the oil, but the hardware store had it. So I just got these two. Emma's asleep over here. Yeah, so we'll hang out close by and see if she wakes up. Uh, I was looking at the manual for the lawnmower, and you're not supposed to remove the filter every time you change the oil, which is interesting because in the car you always do. Oh man, it's hot in here. Um, but anyway, so I got the uh, two quarts. It says it needs uh, 1.8 per change. Unless you change the filter, then it's another, all right, it's a 2.2, I think is what it said. But uh, let's see if I can find that drain plug. I may not do it today. Let's see, it said it was right below the filter. It's kind of awkward to get to. I don't know if you can see it down there or not, but. Hmm. Anyway. I'll have to uh, play around with that. I wonder if, hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I'll have to just look at that when the time comes, but I can at least go get the oil pan from the tiny house and bring it up here. I haven't been in the tiny house in a month at least, so probably should go in there and make sure it hasn't become an ant village or uh, flooded. Ever since I built this place, I've had an issue with ants uh, living in here, but I don't see any ants today. That's a good thing. Maybe it's a little early for them, but uh, so far, so good on the ant population. Good, no ants. All right, let's go in and see about that oil pan. See, I purchased this insulation to go on this back wall here. Yeah, things seem to be pretty good. All right, there's my oil pan. It's empty. I'm not sure I ever actually used it. Uh, let's see, I wanted to mention that coming up soon, I was going to make a redo video of, ha, there it is. This one right here. That's the weed shark. And uh, people wanted me to sharpen the blades on there and try to cut something and also take off the string. So that will be coming up soon as a new video. Oh good, I've got enough of that uh, ridge cap to do the um, back door of the workshop if I decide to do the, um, the A-frame style. Okay, so yeah, all I need is oil pan. Ashley asked if I take the kids out for a little walk. Emma got tired, so she's sitting here on this super safe spot. And then Arrow is in here fast asleep. There he is. Thought I'd spend some time this morning answering emails. I'm about uh, 20 behind, uh, about 200 comments on YouTube behind. I just don't take the time to answer them. Tim is watching some YouTube, Arrow's over in the swing, and Ashley's putting makeup on. I think we're gonna go to a uh, playgroup here in just a bit. Emma, try over here. Seven. Okay. How about eight? You got it. Nine. Good job. What about six?
Today's plan is to go buy some lunch, a picnic lunch at the grocery store. And then I'm taking the two kids to the park to go on the slide. Um, I'm trying to give Ashley at least one day of the week to get her things done. Um, she needs that time, uh, as any of us do. And so today is that day. When I get back though, my plan is to change the oil in the uh, Hustler Raptor. Uh, so that will give us a nice little finishing project for this vlog. We're pulling up here to the park. I'm a little bit concerned that it's gonna be closed. We had a flood a couple of months ago and it washed out a lot. And uh, then we had another flood a couple of days ago. So let's drive up in here and see if there's anything left of the park. Well, it seems to be open so far. Looks like the playground equipment is in working order. So we're gonna go around the corner here and park. Uh, hopefully there's a shade tree and then we'll get the stroller out and move around for a bit. Oh, wow. So yeah, there used to be a levee right here that went all the way around and it's gone now. But you can see this tree right here is where it used to be and there was a walking path on top of it and that is gone. So anyway, we'll see what we can do. Okay, have Arrow ready and Emma here. We're gonna walk and see what the river is like. There's a, uh, a dock down here, or at least used to be. We'll see if it's still standing. So the river here apparently was up over the little uh, levee or dam here and flooded out the baseball fields and all the way down to the playground. Uh, so it was up, I'm just gonna assume, about six to eight feet, because um, that's how tall this levee is. Well, we know the uh, dock is still here. Looks like it's been rebuilt some. I've been to this park uh, several times over the past 20 years. Uh, actually, it's only been here probably about 10, but um, it's a nice place. I always have this, uh, this one issue though. There are hundreds of people in this area that play soccer and they built three baseball diamonds and then locked them up so that you have to have permits to play. And then they um, made one little measly soccer field. And so all these people will gather together for soccer and uh, have to wait to play on one field but as the uh, baseball diamonds just sit there locked up. I call it the prison. <laughs> anyway, beautiful day out. The river is Definitely trucking along here. Here's a quick look at the uh, damage from where the water came through. It's quite a drop off there. So yeah, river flooded over right here and just washed on through to the other side. And there's a prison break here where the fence is down. After trudging through a bunch of sand, we finally made it out here. We probably won't stay too long because it's not the best playground. <laughs> uh-huh. It's big? Yeah, you can go up there. It's fun. But yeah, all this used to be about uh, six inches uh, deeper. Like this little uh, talk hose here was uh, under under some kind of uh, bedding, but anyway, I was afraid this place had been washed out pretty good, and it has. Here's a pretty serious sinkhole there. Oh well, next time we'll go to a different park. Can you go up that tube? Let's see. Let's see if we can go up this tube. Ah. Can you make it? It's hot. It's hot. A little bit hot? It's hot. Not too bad. It's so bad. Not so bad that I go. Can you make it up there? I go. 
I'm trying. That's some of your juice on the floor. Yeah. We're trying out the same park that we went to last week, and uh, it's the one that has the big rocket here. It's just a lot more uh, kid friendly and easy to access. Let's go this way. You want me to go on the bridge too? There we go. Oh dear. Okay. Let's take him the treat. There you go, Otis. Otis. There you go. Give it to him. Good job. There we go. No, just one. We made it back home from the park and my parents' house. Now it's time to get the oil changed here in the Raptor. So I've got my oil here. It's 10W40. And uh, this tube came with the uh, mower. It's supposed to be used to um, access the drain plug, which is down in there. So anyway, let's uh, crank this up, move it around to the front where it's a bit more level. Yeah, get this all changed. I'm thinking I will practice today and then make a dedicated video next time after about 100 hours. The clearance is not high enough to fit a pan under there and the hose is not long enough to wrap back around. So I'm gonna head down behind the tiny house and see if I have a piece of this tubing that will fit. I found this piece here inside of the tiny house should be perfect. I think it'll become the dedicated lawnmower oil changing tube. And it's plenty long enough to wrap around and go back down to my changing pan. So let's go see if it works. Get this oil out of here. Tube comes around here, goes underneath the wheelbase, and uh, it's hard to see down here, but I've got my socket attached to that little nut down there. Supposedly, you just turn this until it releases the oil out of that uh, other plug there. Hopefully. Either that or I'm about to make a big old mess. Man, I hope I don't spill that out of there, but that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oil's running down here. It's somewhat dirty, but not terrible. Yeah, it's actually not bad. But it's supposed to be changed out for the first five hours of use. Well, five to 10. And I've probably got 10 on here easy. So it was time. So besides adding that tube, I need to find my oil funnel. Um, this is working, but I've spilt just a little bit down there. But anyway, it's just a matter of putting the oil back in. But uh, whenever I make my video, I'll definitely find my funnel for this step. Dada, yeah. <laughs> in the seat? I cranked up the lawnmower to bring it back in here into the shed. And Emma heard it and wanted to go outside. And then she pointed to the oil pan, and I told her it was oil, and so she said oil for the car. Very smart. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that oil change was actually uh, easier than I had expected. A couple of the videos online made it sound like it was just a complete hassle and almost unbearable. I did not find that to be true. Uh, it's pretty easy. But next time I'll have a funnel, and uh, I will have to change the oil filter next time. Beep, beep. 
Well, thanks for watching this video. Tomorrow is Thursday. We're going to be taking both the kids to Arrow's uh, doctor's appointment. Um, so hopefully everything goes well. Uh, we haven't had any results yet from any of the tests. So hopefully no results are good results. But we'll see. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the... Oh, uh, one last thing. If you're still watching at this point in the video, I have a link in the description. It's my Amazon influencer link. Um, I signed up for the program and got in. It's this, pretty much the same thing as the affiliate program, but you get to have your own storefront. So you don't have to buy anything. Just uh, if you would click that link, it just says, hey, people are still looking at stuff. Um, so hopefully it'll stay active. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.